Alright, so today I'm going to be making a delicious dinner for my husband. Um, he's going to love it. We're going to do a lightly breaded uh, tuna with a mango salsa on top. And then we're going to kick it off on the side with a little bit of steamed broccoli, tomatoes, and a delicious wine sauce. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to add a little tablespoon of water. We're just going to take our frozen broccoli, depending on how many people you have. You're just going to measure that out. I'm just going to dump my bag in here. And listen, it's all love here. You only need about two tablespoons and a cap full is just about that. So you're just going to take one. And two. typically the crushed garlic, one teaspoon is going to give you about one clove. So we're only adding about one clove. So you're going to one. do is just take a tiny little dip, dip, dip. So just a little tiny bit of the sea salt. That's all you need. You don't need a whole bunch because you're getting a lot of great flavor from the garlic and the wine and sodium from there. So you just sprinkle that in and mix that right, around. So now we're just going to take those diced tomatoes. Drop so them we're in putting there. this on the low setting. We're going to put the lid on here and just let all of those flavors combine. Alright, when we come back we're going to hit the tuna. Okay, I've got my pan heating up. Okay, it's set on medium high. And we have extra virgin, extra virgin, that would be olive oil. We have virgin have coconut oil. oil gets a little cakey but it melts immediately and we're just going to get another one because it will cook, cook off we have three quickly. pieces and we also have the breading now the breading is not something that's going to you know make you gain weight and all that kind of stuff like you get at like I don't know Red Lobster or Long John Silver or something um, this is just organic breadcrumbs uh, with paprika pepper a little bit of sea salt and um, and any other, uh, you know, salt-free uh, seasonings that you want to add to it. And you don't need egg for this. A lot of batters, uh, you know, they use egg. They call for egg to make it stick. Here's the thing. You don't even need it. Watch this. I hope you guys can see this. When you coat it, the fish is wet and the fish picks up. All of that. See? It's breaded without any egg. Alright, so you guys know your stove better than I do. So, medium high might be too much. You might have to turn it down for your tuna um, because you definitely don't want this to cook too fast and get tough. Alright, so um, tuna cooks pretty quickly. Um, so, you want to keep an eye on it. And once you start to see, like in your pan where it gets halfway up the fish, and it gets golden, you want to flip that over, and I'll show you that in a second, okay? Right now, we're going to go ahead and prepare for our mango salsa. And that's all because of the good fats in the coconut oil, and a little bit of oat flour and the breadcrumbs. Delicious. You don't have to worry about bad fats here. It's going to be very good for you. We're going to go ahead and get rocking with this salsa because James is telling me that I'm cutting it close with my 30 minute meal. So this is equivalent to about a cup and a half. I'm just going to drop that in. This purple onion here. You want to use about a half to a quarter of the purple onion. And that's all. Put your pepper in there already. Save yourself some time. We're going to use about a teaspoon of salt, so we'll use that same method that we use with set of our limes earlier. because limes are looking pretty bad in, in produce right now. I'm going to go ahead and use a lemon because they look better. We're just going to toss that in there and just squeeze half of that lemon in. And you just want to go ahead and process this in the food processor until it looks like salsa pretty much. With five seconds to spare, I just made a meal for my husband in 30 minutes. And as you can see, we have the pretty broccoli uh, with the tomatoes on top of here. It looks delicious. And then we also have our tuna with the mango salsa. All those pretty colors makes a very wonderful dish. Okay, that's the first 30-minute meal. I'm Joyce Moore, and I'll see you next time.